Hey folks, today we're diving deep into the realm of hacking legends and those who paved the way for cybersecurity. The virtual landscape has become our daily playground, with flat arcade games morphing into immersive 3D experiences that blur the line between gaming and reality. It's a world where nothing seems too surprising anymore. The year 2023 will be etched in history not just for its economic transformations, but also for the world's increasing dependence on the internet. Wireless networks are weaving a tighter web, and concerns about cybersecurity are escalating rightly so, as internet broadcasting expands and digital technologies become more pervasive. Information security has emerged as a critical global issue, with lone hackers emerging as key players in cybersecurity culture. Crafting our own ranking of the world's top hackers, cybersecurity is advancing at breakneck speed making it feel nearly impossible to keep up with the latest trends. Yet, there are individuals who defy these advancements, not only breaching resources but infiltrating corporate networks. But without acknowledging the names of these icons, grasping the full scope of the issues is futile, for they are the architects of the modern cyber world. Back in the day, the term hacker signified membership in an exclusive circle of enlightened minds. Groups like Germany's Chaos Computer Club and the USA's Legion of Doom were particularly renowned. These hackers, legends in their own right, have left an indelible mark on the virtual world's history. Many of them rose to fame through their hacks, making waves in the media. Some are also revered as influential industry experts, not just for uncovering program vulnerabilities, but for their adeptness at exploiting them. Meet a true cybersecurity legend, albeit a sadly infamous one. He made headlines when mainstream media barely covered cybersecurity or hackers. He's a unique figure who once found himself on the FBI's most wanted list. At one point, he breached computers of major corporations and hijacked software from cell phone manufacturers and internet providers. The term computer hacking has evolved into a genuine threat to civilization and modern technologies. But during the chaos era, such actions were seen as idealistic, merely identifying and exploiting system vulnerabilities. Though unauthorized, it wasn't a secret, nor was it condoned. It was detrimental to victims. Our hacker never pursued financial gain. He was hardly interested in monetary rewards. It was mostly done for the sheer thrill, for the community, and for information security specialists. After all, stealing information occurred in secure systems. Kevin Mitnick was among the first to put cybersecurity principles to the test, experiencing firsthand the consequences of cybercrime laws. He's widely regarded as a highly influential figure in the information security realm. Today he consults for Fortune 500 companies, collaborates with governments worldwide, and even delves into teaching, offering insights into social engineering. He's authored several books on becoming the most renowned hacker globally. Despite being officially labeled a white hat hacker, some aspects of his activities tread a gray area. It's within this expansive realm that politically trained activists and hackers operate, serving both our interests and yours. Reportedly, in 2014, he launched an exploit exchange ground zero for Minic. Critical software vulnerabilities, lacking patches, were auctioned here. Dubbed the homeless hacker, he breached IT systems in library internet cafes and other public networks worldwide. For notoriety, he utilized an unprotected Yahoo content management tool at the age of 20. There was no financial motive. He merely sought to alter an article by inserting a fake quote from the Attorney General. Lama's modus operandi was unconventional. He'd often hack systems and then notify both victims and the press. Sometimes he'd even assist in fixing vulnerabilities and provide consultancy to cybersecurity specialists. However, his foray into hacking the New York Times information security didn't end well. The building sued him. He found himself under house arrest, and in 2018, social media buzzed with news of his demise, yet there's been no official confirmation without delving into specifics. This hacker is credited with one of the most financially damaging hacks in US history. His exploits, coupled with the subsequent sale of credit card data, wreaked havoc on several major companies. His hacking journey began back in high school in Miami, 
where he even formed his own group, and in the criminal commerce scene, he's hailed as one of the finest hackers and moderators. In 2022, Gonzalez found himself in cuffs in New York, charged with debit card fraud after pilfering data from a whopping 1,000,000 card accounts. His loot? A staggering $200,000, and all achieved in a mere two years. To dodge the slammer, he struck a deal to spill the beans as an informant for the fuzz. Yet, even during this stint, he couldn't resist tinkering with security systems to siphon off some cash. The coordinated strike on an American Realtor in 2005 sparked a colossal breach of credit information. Leveraging a vulnerability, our infamous hacker and his crew waltzed into several corporate networks, pocketing a cool $256,000. Fast forward to 2015, he found himself behind bars, with the federal prosecutor dubbing his exploits as brazenly unprecedented. Indeed, this young Cuban origin hacker rightfully earns the crown as one of the slickest credit card swindlers and most legendary hackers of all time. These British hackers are infamous for pinpointing vulnerabilities even in military IT networks. In 96, they infiltrated an Air Force base network, breezing past the information security of the Korean Atomic Energy Research Institute. When nabbed, they faced accusations, quite understandably, of almost triggering a third world war, perhaps even a nuclear one. They spilled the beans from Korean institutes to American military systems. In their defense, they claim to be hunting for evidence of a global conspiracy, concealing extraterrestrial communication concealed within UFOs visiting our planet. Some pundits draw parallels in motivation between these British hackers and Gary McKinnon, embroiled in the mother of all computer hacks. He busted into the U.S. Department of Defense's computer network. It was a virtual slap in the face to the entire military apparatus. Gary claimed he was after classified White House data on UFOs. He believed it could benefit all humankind, not just a select few. The Scott infiltrated NASA's entire system, knocking out no fewer than 200,000 computers. Within a day, he plastered a banner on the space agency's official website, Your Security, Absolute Nonsense. If we take McKinnon at his word, he indeed stumbled upon logged contacts in NASA's servers. These logs detailed over 400 cases, backing the existence of aliens, modern technologies, and regular encounters with them. McKinnon's legal saga is ongoing. The USA clamors for his extradition, but the British government's nod to hand over the hacker to the Americans has met formidable resistance from Harry's legal eagles. A groundswell of public outcry ensued. In 2012, Theresa May, then Home Secretary, even reversed the decision to extradite the hacker, Kevin Polson. He kicked off his hacking escapades early, at a sprightly 17. He cracked the U.S. Department of Defense's IT system, but sans any cataclysmic repercussions like massive data breaches or deploying ransomware. The FBI swooped in to investigate, and as they dug deeper, Kevin vanished into the shadows. Along the way, he penetrated several federal computers, bugged phone calls at multiple consulates in Los Angeles, and even hacked the FBI system. By clicking on the ad link or checking out the video description, you'll delve deeper into the official community of cybersecurity specialists at Dark Eden Academy. I bet you enjoyed the video. Let's amp up the motivation to churn out more thrilling content. Share the video and hit subscribe on our social networks where we dish out unique content that sails through YouTube's moderation checks.